Hey Haley, you've been avoiding me up until now, but you're definitely gonna come to the mom's lunch today. It's Saturday, so you can't use work as an excuse for not going. <laughs> it gets better though. I decided to have it at your house. Won't that be convenient for you? We'll be there at noon sharp. Right now it looks like 10 people are coming. You can choose whether you want to make the lunch yourself or order out. It doesn't matter to me. Just make sure you get enough. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Actually, I'm in the mood for sushi. There's an amazing sushi place that just opened downtown. Why don't you order from them? Haley, what's going on? Why aren't you at home? Oh, is he? Um, good afternoon. Don't good afternoon me. You had better not be pretending to be out of your house right now. Okay, so I just took a look at the messages you sent me earlier this morning. I'm sorry to tell you like this, but our family is away on vacation today. What? We won't be back until tomorrow. What's the matter with you? You should have told me that way sooner. There are 10 hungry mothers waiting at your front door right now, expecting to eat expensive sushi at your lunch party. We left the house at 9 a.m. this morning, and we've been on the road until just now. I didn't even look at my phone until a few moments ago. Come on. Izzy, you can't just invite yourself and 10 other people to someone else's house for lunch. Much less three hours before you plan to come. What's the big deal? It's Saturday. Yeah, that's why we're going on a little trip as a family today. And for the record, I do sometimes have to go into the office on Saturdays too. I've been telling you for a long time, Izzy. You need to give me plenty of advance notice if you want to make any plans involving me. Yeah, but even when I ask you in advance, you always say no. I work on weekends, Izzy. Of course I'm going to say no to a weekday lunch invitation. People who work regular office jobs can't just hop out of an extended lunch whenever they feel like it. You can take time off. It's not that easy. Sorry, Izzy, but we just got our food from the drive-thru, so we're going to get back on the road now. I gotta go. Hey, we're not finished here. I'm sorry, Izzy, but we'll have to talk about this later. Unbelievable. Do you have any idea how much money you cost me? Ugh, good evening, Izzy. I'm sorry, what did you mean? How did I cost you money? The lunch last Saturday. I told all the other moms that we were all invited to your house to eat sushi from the expensive new restaurant. But you completely blew me off and went on vacation with your family. So I got stuck taking them all out to have lunch at that restaurant instead. I had to pay for 10 lunches. Izzy, I think you're missing one very important detail. What detail? You are the one who invited everyone to my house without even talking to me about it in advance. I don't recall ever saying yes to that plan. I didn't even see your message until you were already there. And you're the one who wanted to eat sushi and expected me to pay for it. I think most people would take the complete lack of response as a pretty certain sign that the other person had not gotten the message, don't you? Oh my god, you are so selfish, Haley. Selfish? Me? You really don't get it, do you? Listen, babe, I'm what you call the boss around here. I'm the leader of the mom's club. So all the moms in my circle are my underlings. They do what I say, when I say. Uh, what? You're the boss of the mom's club? Um, yeah, what of it? I don't recall ever joining any club. And second of all, I don't recall ever agreeing to make you my boss. Was there an election or something that I missed? Shut up! I don't need an election to know I'm the boss. It's just the facts. I'm the leader of all the moms in the neighborhood, like it or not. Is that so? 
Yes, that's so. Got it? The next lunch is going to be at your house for real this time. Next Saturday. Be ready. Sorry, I can't do that day. Excuse me? You told me to give you an advance notice, right? Well, I just did, so make it work. My company's new employees are undergoing a series of training sessions, and I had plans to go and check in on how they're doing on Saturday. Are you kidding? Did you really think I'd buy that excuse? Those training sessions are for important people to deal with. You know, executives, managers, people who matter. What's some loser part-timer like you going to do there? You're just going to be standing around in the back of the room watching everyone else do the real work? <laughs> You'd only be getting in the way. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm not a part-timer. Wait, really? <laughs> okay, my bad. You're just a temp staffer then. Wrong again. Stop changing the subject. This Saturday, you're going to host the mom's lunch at your house. And this time, you are going to buy us all of the sushi we can eat. Do I make myself clear? I just told you, I have work and I can't do it. Oh, and just so you can't get out of your responsibility this time, I'll go ahead and order the sushi for you. You can pay me back later, and yes, you will pay me back every last cent. Okay, well don't forget that I already told you no. Hey there, Haley. We're having an absolutely lovely sushi lunch at your house right now. Although, I have to admit, it's kind of weird that you're not attending a party at your own house. <laughs> huh? Wait a second. What do you mean you're having a lunch at my house? Are you actually in my house right now? How? I locked the doors when I left. Nope. We were able to get inside with no problem at all. It was so nice of you to leave someone here at the house to serve us. <laughs> Who is this old lady? Your mom? Or your mother-in-law? Or just some woman you hired for us? Anyway, this was super nice of you to do. But just because you gave us a servant doesn't mean you're going to get out of paying the $5,500 bill. What the? $5,500? I ordered enough for 20 people. You know, so I could have some leftovers for later. <laughs> I have the old lady here pay for now, but you can pay her back when you get home. Don't keep her waiting, though. I doubt she has that much in her bank account. <laughs> what in the world are you talking about? My husband took my son to the mall to play today, and I've been at work since this morning. So none of us are home, and the house should be empty. Yeah, I figured as much. And that's why you left this old lady here, right? Your mom or mother-in-law or whatever. I did no such thing, Izzy. My mother and my husband's mother. Both of them passed away before we got married. What? Wait. Huh? What are you not getting, Izzy? My entire family is out of the house right now. No one is home. So there shouldn't be any old woman, much less my dead mother or mother-in-law, at the house right now. Hold on. So you're saying that... That woman who went and hid in the back room when we all came into the house? Is that... Oh my god, your mom's a ghost. Oh my god, don't be ridiculous. There is no such thing as ghosts. That woman who's in the house with you, you said you made her pay for the sushi, right? Ghosts don't have money. I mean, they're not even real. What are you, a third grader? Oh, yeah, that does make sense. Wait, so this was a... Frank, you're awful! You know I'm terrified of ghosts! I can't even watch horror movies! I get so panicked, I, I can't sleep! How could you pull such a cruel prank on me? I wouldn't go to so much trouble to pull some elaborate prank like this on you! But that's beside the point right now! If you're really in my house eating sushi like you say, and some woman let you into my house, then that means someone was trespassing in my house. This is very, very bad. I gotta call the police. Yes, I'm 100% sure that we're in your house. Ugh, you're terrible. If you keep going from prank to prank like this, 
I'm gonna have a heart attack. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not pulling any pranks on you? You've got some nerve treating me like this on the day I'm celebrating my husband getting a new job. What? Your husband's new job? Yeah, isn't it great? He got scouted by some big shot marketing agency. So this week's mom's lunch is also a party for him. Wait, is your husband there with you right now? Well, duh, it's his party. Of course he's here. I see. And does your husband's name happen to be Stan? Uh, yeah, but why does that matter? Okay, well then... What? Tell your husband he's fired. Fired? <laughs> what is up with you? He's fired. <laughs> How can you fire him? <laughs> he doesn't even work for you. Actually, he does work for me. Huh? That big shot marketing agency you mentioned earlier, I'm the CEO. What? I told you that I couldn't host a lunch today because my company's new employees were undergoing a training session, didn't I? Your husband is one of the new hires who should be in that training session right about now. But he's never taken any of the training seriously at all. He's been blowing them off, taking long bathroom breaks, using his phone mid-session. And right now, he's absent without leave. I've been trying to contact him since this morning, but he won't answer his phone. Unbelievable. He was having a party to celebrate his new job. Wait, you're not making any sense. My husband was scouted by this company. Why should he have to attend some dumb training session? If he was scouted, doesn't that mean the company really wanted him to join? Trainings are for beginners. Sorry to break it to you, Izzy, but your husband wasn't scouted. What? I don't know what sort of story he's been telling you, but he got hired on as a part-timer, just like all the people at the training session today. No, he's a part-timer? He worked hard and proved himself. We have a system where part-timer employees can become full-time regular employees, but he's got to go through the process like everyone else. I'm going to talk to my husband. You wait right there. You were telling the truth. He quit his job at his last company because he could never get along with anyone else there. But he was too embarrassed to admit that he got hired into your company as just a part-timer. So he told me that he got scouted because of his impressive resume. Yeah, that's what happened. And like I just said, your husband's attitude at work was so painfully awful that I don't think he was ever going to make it as a part-timer. I was willing to give him more time to prove himself, but a no-call, no-show is just too much to overlook. I'm going to talk to his HR director right now and get his termination process started. Hey, wait, could you... I'm not... I've got it. How about I make you the boss instead of me? So, come on, please, don't fire my husband. You're gonna make me the boss? Yeah, just think about it. You'll be able to boss around all the other moms now. I would rather comb my hair with a rusty fork than do that. What? Oh, and one more thing. The police have been called. The police? I told my husband that there was an intruder in our house, so he rushed home from the mall to check on it. And when he got there, he saw our next-door neighbor desperately trying to escape from a window in her own house. Your neighbor? She was really panicked. She said that a bunch of women forced their way into her house and demanded that she pay for their sushi. So my husband let her borrow his phone and she called 911. Oh no. In your defense, our house is in a pretty new development area, so a lot of the houses do look very similar. Oh, don't tell me. I went to your neighbor's house by mistake. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Oh no, this is bad. Like, really, really bad. But what should I do now? Given your position, I guess you have no choice but to tell the truth. 
You got the address wrong and barged into some poor, unsuspecting elderly woman's house with a bunch of your friends. And you made that poor elderly woman pay $5,500 for sushi that you ordered. I think that covers everything that's gone on today. Did I miss anything? I can't believe this. This cannot be happening. Do you know how that sounds? That makes it sound like we're a bunch of mobsters. Well, if the shoe fits, you've got to do something, Haley. You're an adult, and you got yourself into this mess. So you're just gonna have to get yourself out of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Haley, don't go. It seems that an unmarked, silent police car had arrived at the front of our neighbor's house while we were texting each other. And the mom's club was all taken away by the police before they even knew what was happening. After the dust had settled, our neighbor got right to work getting some justice for herself. She sued Izzy and her friends for the $5,500 she was forced to pay for the sushi, as well as punitive damages for the pain and suffering she experienced that day. Frankly, I thought she should have pushed for way more in damages. A little while later, Izzy and her husband divorced. Neither of them were determined to be capable parents, so their child was taken in by a relative. As for the rest of Izzy's mommy gang, they all met similar fates, getting divorced by their husbands or disowned by their families. <laughs> I'll bet all of them are going to be regretting following Izzy's lead for the rest of their lives. So it seems like now, the neighborhood will finally get some relief from their malicious hijinks. Thank God. <laughs>